It's a very positive atmosphere and the people seem to be incredibly jolly with a very sense of achievements and of course they are graduating from one of Australia's best universities and for that matter one of the best universities in the world. It's incredible, it's very exciting, um, there's lots of people you haven't seen in a while, your family is here and it's like two worlds are kind of colliding, you've got this academic world and you know, your family has supported you. Today we perform a medieval ritual, but it's a marker of what you have done, what you have achieved, and you should enjoy it, and you should enjoy it with your family and friends who are here to witness it. And so my point, graduates, is really that we can admire those who have come before without replicating what they did. And we are not here collectively, and you are not here to replicate the triumphs of the people that you admire, you're here to transcend those triumphs. You can do better than to join the club and be part of some insider arrangement. You can bust the clubs open. You can make social and economic mobility the defining feature of our country's future and not just the defining feature of our past. I've had amazing opportunities not only to go overseas and study, so I did the ANIT program, so I was an intern in Washington DC and then got to come back and do undergraduate research, that's an amazing opportunity that's pretty much unique to the ANU, um, but also just to live and work in the Australian capital. After today you will no longer be our students but our alumni and our peers. You'll go on to achieve much more than we expect and you'll look back and say ANU is where it all started.